So, good morning guys. Here is a question for you. Are you a future nomad? Is it something that you're looking at doing? And do you think you could do it? Now here's a few ideas because obviously I've been getting ready for the last nearly two months now um, to become a nomad. I know that I can deal with most situations that arise. My major issue is going to be my car. When that breaks down, I will go into full panic mode. But apart from that, everything else I think I can deal with. Now, here's a thought. When you get up in the morning, do you need your cup of tea? And do you head straight to the kitchen? Straight to the kettle? Make your cup of tea? Excuse the washing up. Then come and find your favourite spot in the sitting room to sit and drink it and while the day away. While you're doing this, do you get up and have a wander around? Do you potter over to your desk and do a bit of paperwork or do a bit of dusting? Radiator, window sills? Do you um, think, look at your carpet, think I must get the hoover out, get the hoover out, do a bit of hoovering, sort your pictures out? Chest of drawers, new tidying, laundry needs doing. Make a list of your shopping. A freezer needs filling and sorting and cleaning. And so does the fridge and the cooker. And probably your cupboards. And you're quite happy to do that. You make a list of all the things you're going to do today. And then you go in your wardrobe. And you think, cool. Maybe I need a new wardrobe. I haven't bought a new wardrobe in an age. Let's have a look on internet and see what, what's about that's modern these days. And while I'm doing that, maybe I could have a look at a few clothes. And then there's all your beauty products. <gasps> what are you running out of? You must get that because you need it. It's going to run out soon. Um, you'll get the big bottle because that way you don't have to. You can, you know, it, it's economical, isn't it? Um, and then your bedroom. <gasps> you've already made your duvet because you like your easy life. So you've thrown your duvet over, beautiful all matching colours and you've tidied it and pampered it and prodded it and made it pretty and your bedside table's all clean and tidy. And, and then there's the bathroom. And you need a shower or a bath. So you're going to run your bath. Are you going to put your shower on? Have you got your towels ready? Is the heating sorted? Plenty of space, you can do your teeth while you're at it and you know, have a look in the mirror at yourself and make sure you're all pretty. So, this morning I had my shower and because I'm becoming a nomad, I went the extra mile. Fill this bucket up with water, sit on this stool here, and have my shower. So, a uh, cup, over body, over hair, wash hair, wash body. Today, not only did I have that shower with my bucket, and I should have actually done something slightly different, but I wanted to try my new towels out. So here are my two new towels. This is proper microfiber, um, and this is um, orange, orange cloth that they called microfiber on eBay. But <laughs> um, they're very fluffy, and I think they will take an age to dry. Anyway, I've used them both to dry me. This one's got very wet. This one is almost dry, and it did the same amount of work. I'll probably use one of these two, depending on whether I take this one or not. It depends how long that takes to dry. But I definitely use that one to dry myself off and it's a small cloth I can take with me everywhere. Um, and so that's what I've worked out today and I'm quite happy with it. Well, thinking back in a car, you can use your a bucket or a bowl to fill with some water. You can spray on some shampoo on your hair, you can give it a wash, you can rinse it out, you can use one of those towels. Hey presto, ready to go. If you get to a place that has a shower, you can go the extra mile. But I can live with all of that, so it's not an issue. 
I've got lots and lots of clean underwear and socks and stuff that I change every day, so that's not an issue. Got to go to the laundrette more often because I'm not taking so much stuff. But it's something to think about. Can you live with just getting up in the morning in your car and having a flask of tea ready um, if you live in a car and don't have um, a kettle? You have to go right back to basics. And the question is, can you do that? Can you live without your sofa to lounge on? You can have your radio on in your car. You can have a heater on in your car. But you can't move around. You can't go and potter somewhere. Well, you can if you're in America or in the UK, depending where you park and what you're in. So I'm talking about stealth car living. Because basically, people do not know, will not know. You don't want them to know what you are doing whatsoever I have many ideas in my head as to what I'm going to say to people when they come across me sitting outside making a flask of tea with my cooker or whatever so in this living of stealth life in a car you have to pretend that your car is your car and at the same time live as normal life as you can um, so this big room disappears everything disappears down to the small size of probably that sofa that is probably the size of my life in my car and you have to think about whether you can live with that now I very much doubt if I'm going to live more than a year with this but in the meantime I am learning the job while I'm learning the job we'll all learn the job together and you can learn as I go along from my mistakes and my problems as to whether it's something you can do. So, just an idea, just some thoughts. Catch you later.